What's up researchers, the guru here. I'm back with another Mendeley video. This time I'm showing you how to do inline citations with the author name outside the bracket. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please click the subscribe button and the bell icon to be notified when there is a new upload. Remember to like, comment and share this video. Okay, let's get to it. The tools that I'm going to be using in this video are my Microsoft Word and my Mendeley. All right, in my Mendeley, I've already logged in and I'm going to be using citation uh, references that are sitting in the master's thesis folder. I've got four references in there. Right, in Microsoft Word already, I've got uh, a st uh, three statements that I've written here and I've got two citations that are in here, highlighted in yellow and another one in, in green. Okay, so all these citations that I have are examples of in-text citations. So they are citations that are part of your text in your document that you are writing. Okay, but the reason why this is highlighted in, in green different from, from the other two is because this one is right at the end of the statement. So this person, Brenda2017, said when it comes to use of technology, age plays a role. And then uh, she's the one who said that statement. So you cite a, or you put a reference right at the end of that statement okay but then there are other citations that you want to include right in the middle of the text like in this case you want to start by saying according to right so and so right the use of technology is right this is in agreement with what was found out by james right in 2000 that the use of right so these citations if you check them out they are right inside the statements um that that they said in their document okay so you don't want to um uh, put them right at the end of this of the statement but you want to put them within the statement itself it's just like even writing a statement of, of, of saying um uh joyce uh 2020 insists that okay such kind of citing is what we are talking about is as uh in uh as in line citations okay so this is what i want to, to show you how to do it with mendeley all right uh and there are two ways basically that you can you can do uh these uh kind of suggestions so i'm just gonna remove all this and then i'm gonna start over so i said according um according to who said this so i'm gonna go to references insert citation um and then just say academy there my paper will appear and then click on select it and then click ok all right so uh, by default mendeley uh puts it in brackets as you can see right the whole citation is put in brackets okay uh by default it does that so it's up to you then to edit that citation so that the authors can go out of the bracket and there are two ways that you can do this so i'm going to show you those two ways the first one is well before i get to the first one always remember to copy the names of the authors okay so i've highlighted the names of the authors copy them because i'm going to need them okay so the first way to do that is uh to remove these authors here okay remove them i still have a space there remove it and then the moment i want to click outside that uh citation i get a message this message is saying you you are trying to edit the citation manually okay do you want to do that or you want to undo okay so i'm i'm happy with it i want to keep on doing that ed, uh, uh editing so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on click i keep manual edit Otherwise, I can click undo manual edit. If I click undo, it will undo all the changes that I've done now. Okay. But I want to uh, keep that manual edit. So I'm going to remove it in that space too. And then when I click outside, it will give me that message. Then I'm going to say keep manual edit. All right. So Mendeley is happy that I've, I've, I've kept it like that. Then I'm going to paste those names there. Okay. So according to these three authors, right? And then here. Yeah. Uh, the use of technology is dependent on edge okay right so this is the first way that you can insert a in in line citation where you want the authors to be outside the bracket 
okay but i'm gonna show you the shortfall for this method and hence i advise you to use the second method that i'm about to show you now and then i'll show you the advantages of the second method over the the first method okay so the second method says according to right so i'm gonna insert citation and then look for the my 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 my, my, my article click on it and then click okay right into format as always and then insert uh the citation right so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna click anyway uh, uh on this citation and then this icon changes to edit citation if i if i click outside the citation it says insert so it assumes that when i click it i want to insert a citation but when i'm within the citation it changes to edit citation in other words I'm, i don't want to insert a citation, citation but i want to edit the one that is there already okay so i'm going to click on edit citation the same window appears i'm sure you're familiar with this window all you just need to do is click on that citation right and then go to suppress author okay suppress author you're saying uh, do not show the author authors in the front end okay so i'm gonna click on that and then click okay okay it will format again and then get rid of the authors right so you now have 2017 and then remember i copied the names already of the authors i'm just gonna paste them okay um we need uh, let me use another statement the use uh, of technology uh, does not depend on depend on edge okay right so you can see that i have got my inline citations but i have done them differently okay now let me show you the reason why you want to stick to method two method two and not method one okay so i'm gonna highlight this in red to show that it's danger <laughs> uh let me put uh in, in 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 red of course and then this one i'm gonna put it in green so that this thumbs up okay uh, so i'm gonna show you the disadvantage of method one over method two right if i go into my main lay let's say i have um imported this wrong or i have manually entered this wrong so i'm gonna edit my citation right um instead of having 2017 let's say i typed that manually wrong it's actually supposed to be 2016 okay um click on view show document details right it will show them um in the normal way but you see my my year has changed from 2017 to 2016. if i go to my microsoft word right and go to my references and refresh i'm gonna click on the refresh button right um it's gonna try to refresh all the citations that i have in this document right you will see that on method two the citation is automatically updated okay as per the addition uh that happened in mendeley unlike that 2017 so this is the reason why you always want to use method two because you never know mistakes can happen you can import or type manually uh, the dates or the spelling of the author name um uh, or any other information wrong and hence you would need method two so that you don't have to go and manually edit the whole document uh because you have used method one okay so this is the reason why you would want to use method two so i'm going to edit it back to 2017 oh let me use 2020 just to uh um prove my point further okay i'm gonna go to mendeley it's still 2016 this one is still 2017 and the refresh right you see that this will be 2020 but this will remain 2017 okay um yeah so basically this is how you do uh inline citations where you want the author names outside um uh the bracket thank you for okay. um watching this video see you in the next one remember to subscribe like share this video cheers